What's going on guys? Welcome to another book review episode. Just got done doing the, the talk like that. I'm doing another one right after this because literally I've been <laughs> I've been reading. I've been crushing these books in the past three days. I think I've read three books and uh, my next book review is going to be on as a man thinketh. And this one is by James Allen. Right. So as you can see, it's it's a thin one. OK, this, this barely has many pages in it at all. But the content in this, oh my gosh, so, so deep. Like, this is about 20, it says 25 pages long, but I literally feel like it's a 200 page book just because of the content that's in it. This, to be honest, this is a very difficult read for me personally. I recommend not reading this starting out because it's very, very deep. And uh, I've heard many great things about this. Uh, a lot of people that I follow, they're, they're big believers of this book. And it really just, of course, highlights the things about, you know, as a man thinketh, right? Like how a man should think, right? The things that separates an average man, right? Or an average human to a human that has great potential, meaning their mindset is different. So, you know, it preaches things about serenity, um, visions and ideals, the thought factor and achievement, thought and purpose, effective thought on health and body. Um, yeah, effective thought on circumstances, thought and character. So everything, it's all, it's all about thought, right? It's all about thought. And I like to read, um, I'd like to read to you guys just like a little passage out of this. I think I'm going to do, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do this one. So I'm going to talk about what is it? Effect on thought and circumstances and circumstances. So nature helps every and, and you know, pardon if, if my vocab gets a little messed up. These words are super deep. Um, some of them, I'll be honest, like I got to look up because they definitely stop me. <laughs> nature helps every man to the gratification of the thoughts, which he most encourages and opportunities are presented, which will most speedily bring to the surface both the good and evil thoughts. You can see where this is deep. Let a man cease from his sinful thoughts and all the world will soften towards him and be ready to help him. Let him put away his weakly and sickly thoughts and lo, opportunities will spring up on every hand to aid his strong resolves. Let him encourage good thoughts and no hard fate shall bind him down to wretchedness and shame. The world is your uh, kaleidoscope and varying combinations of colors, which at every succeeding moment it presents to you are the exqu exquisitely... Uh, adjusted pictures of your ever moving thoughts. I'm going to read th th this is from James Allen right here, like a quote. So you will be what you will to be. Let failure find its false content in that poor word environment, but spirit scorns it and is free. It masters time, it conquers space, it cows the boastful trickster chance, and bides the tyrant circumstance, uncrowned and fill a servant's place. The human will that force unseen. The offspring of a deathless soul can hew away to any goal the walls of granite intervene. Be not impatient in delays, but wait as one who understands when spirit rises and commands the gods are ready to obey. I'm telling you, like, I, I got no words for that. <laughs> like, seriously, I mean, most books, you know, I can go off of that, but I got no words for that. Guys, as a man thinketh, I recommend this, okay, like I said, not for starters, but I mean, I recommend just having this. That's why I copped it because I've heard so many great things. Again, it's a very thin book. I don't know. I don't know if this is like the summarized version or something, but I don't know if it's bigger than this. But either way, lots of value. Highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.